Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, as I said in the previous video, this video will be about uh, uh, how to add animation to the canvas. And actually we will talk um, even about uh, something else uh, later, but this uh, now we will talk about this. So uh, uh, we already saw a lot of um, things that now you can use with canvas. And animation will just need to all these things and uh, uh, to use loops, recursion, and set timeout. Uh, this is because uh, if, uh, uh, if you set a timeout that is very tiny, uh, people will not see two events differently, but they will see just a slide, no? Anyway, let's see. Um, we, we will set a on, on load, Windows on load in it, all the same things. Uh, here we have var position, we declared an object of x0 and y50, and then we declared the function in it equal to draw, function draw, um, position x equal to x, uh, position x plus 5. So we are adding 5 to the x, um, to the x um, parameter till it reaches the maximum of the canvas width, then it turns back, no? Same for, uh, for, for y, even if we don't add it, but then it doesn't matter. Then here we have context. We are creating a rectangle of uh, the coordinates pos x, pos y, 100 and 100, and then with window set timeout, with we call draw, giving 50 milliseconds. Okay, so um, let's see this animation first. And as you see, it's 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 doing more or less what we wanted. Uh, anyway, me I wanted a rectangle that was sliding from left to right. No, so I didn't really achieve what I wanted because the previous rectangles don't get cleared. So let's see how to clear the rectangles. Uh, we will use a function that uh, is built in, built in, uh, so is a built in function. Anyway, context.clear rect. So this uh, is not just, um, is not just clearing the, the rectangle, it's clearing the whole camba. Okay, so every time we will clear the whole Canva uh, in this case. Of course, uh, there are uh, more complex animation than this one, but uh, this can be a good beginning, I think. Canvas Swiss, Canvas height. Okay, so I added this at the beginning of draw function because draw function is set uh, on a time on a on a set timeout, so it, every time it will it will call it again. It will keep clearing the screen. Okay. Okay. So and once it comes back, it starts again. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, Pretty simple about animations. I wanted to, this is the animation that I created myself uh, and okay, it's, uh, it's what it is. Uh, I wanted to show you the animation. I, I suggest you to come here and to have a look at the animation that uh, they are on developer Mozilla, just to, to really, just for fun, for, for your eyes. This is an, an animation that uh, is, uh, they really have created this incredible. Anyway, uh, very interesting. And another, an animated clock, which is a thousand of line of code to create that. Interesting to know. I suggested to have a look at some, at something uh, about this, because of course what I created myself is a very basic thing that, uh, that anyone can do. Uh, okay, so about animations, uh, it's enough. Now I will create another code to draw um, to draw um, with uh, on the canvas with the mouse. So um, 
here is another the code that I was trying to, to create. Same things for the beginning, but I edited input type color. Uh, we will see how what it is, but uh, nothing nothing uh, difficult. Uh, we create a function uh, to first to, to to draw with the mouse. We use uh, begin path and uh, event listeners, which will be mouse down, mouse up. Mouse down will start drawing and uh, mouse up uh, uh, with finish drawing. Here I made a code that is a little disordered. Anyway, I initialize the variable let drawing false. If uh, on mouse, mouse down, um, drawing equal, equal to true and, um, and begin path, which will mean is a built-in function that uh, will actually make you draw. Um, and the drawing, drawing equal to false, add events listener on mouse up and drawing. So you need to click and keep it, keep the, the mouse clicked. There are some other, some editors where you do it differently, no? That you click and then you can add it. But anyway, I did it like this. Uh, then, this is the interesting part. Uh, function get mouse position because we need to get the uh, the coordinates or where of where is uh, your uh, your your pointer no uh, so we have um, declared two variables canvas and avt a uh, random variable and um, we have var rect uh, rect because we are using this function which is a built-in function, uh, get bounding client rect, which returns a DOM rect object. Okay. And um, I don't, but I will show it to you this. Um, okay. Um, it provides information about the size of an element and its position relative to the viewport. So the canvas. This is what it does. I don't want to talk about it too much. Uh, the point here is that uh, um, if you use box sizing border box, uh, probably these problems are not uh, doesn't present get present. Uh, but we are not doing it, and actually with this is simpler what we want to do. So we, it is actually um, the DOM rect in this case that we are, that is returned to us has the value. Uh, the width height, this is an object to contain, these are the, the information contained in a DOM rect. X, Y, width, height, top, right, bottom, left, we will use it uh, just a few of, of those. And as you can see here, here we have a div, so the, the rectangle that we created here has a width of 400 pixel and a height of 200 pixel. But if you look at the width, look at the width 400, you come here with 440 because of the padding, because of the padding, same as height. And same is here. So we need to create, uh, we do some math calculation uh, to get the current position of uh, uh, our mouse on the canvas, um, scale X, canvas width, canvas, canvas dot width, divided by the rect of the DOF to it, because otherwise it would be a little uh, misproportioned because of, uh, uh, because of the paddings and the border. Then scale Y, uh, canvas height, red height, and last return X and Y act equal to EVT dot client X, which is actually the position that the, that the uh, our, uh, that the software can retrieve real time of your of the client of the client pointer minus recto left, which is one of the objects that we have seen. We have seen that it returns a left, left, top, and the last uh, multiplied by scale x, which is a number is a number a little less than one because we are dividing canvas width, which is the width of the canvas, 
divided by the canvas width plus its padding and border. So a little less than one, but, but it's just to be, to, be, to be sharp, of course, because it's needed. Okay, um, then uh, function draw, uh, if it's not draw, will return uh, let x, y uh, get mouse position canvas e, okay, um, and, uh, but, uh, okay, uh, on mouse move, we draw, uh, we get the, the x and y, and um, context line 2, uh, x and y, to, from x to y, uh, and c, c, x, y, stroke. Okay, um, that's all. Let's see it on the screen. Let's see it on the screen. Okay, here we have the input type color that uh, sounds, uh, seems to be fantastic, uh, a software in itself, but actually is built in. Uh, you just need to say input type color and here it comes. And here we have the, our drawing Canva. Okay. Okay, so um, this is it for this lesson. Um, the next one will still be about Canvas. Uh, I'll talk, I'll show how to save images on the canvas, save a canvas to an image, how uh, something about media, videos, and uh, maybe digital accessibility, which is uh, uh, something uh, that everybody considers useless, and uh, that's, uh, there is a reason. But uh, Google uh, likes it, and uh, so we must uh, like it too. Um, so, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.